go to soundcloud.com slash Serial Box where you'll find more amazing stuff. Well, I say amazing. There are no unicorns or lost sunken cities. I've looked. It's a bit bland. Just a load of radio comedy. Dieter Patel was relieved to be called away from the cacophony of the Lilavati Hospital's packed emergency room. Mumbai is a city of almost 12 million people, most of whom, it seemed to Dieter, were cluttering up her hospital. In the lab, she found concerned faces. This is the 14th positive, said a researcher. Of how many tested, demanded Dieter. The researcher swallowed nervously. 14. Under the microscope, Dieter saw the living image of something she'd only seen in the textbook, cholestin-resistant bacteria. So the battle was lost. The only thing between the hundreds of flu victims dying in Mumbai's hospitals and an epidemic of up to a billion people was the world's strongest antibiotic, and even that would be useless. The date was the 25th of November 2015, the same day Hillary Brady disappeared. These events may or may not be connected. They're not connected. Previously on Serial Box. This is a global telling prepaid call from Investigator Hal Stewart. You guys are some investigators, yeah? This all points to a kidnapping. Hillary simply stole a photo of a pretty girl off the internet. We've got something to tell you. There is one thing you must know about Hillary. I've got some news. It's about Hillary. From This British Life and WD-40 Luton, this is Serial Box. One story told week by week. I'm Sim. And I'm Hal. For several months, I've spent every waking day trying to solve the mystery of the disappearance of Hilary Brady. Our arduous investigation had taken us from the mysteriously empty home of Hal's online friend Hilary in Sandy Springs, Wisconsin, to a Welsh cottage, a Shanghai restaurant... Which wasn't even a restaurant. A Dutch recording studio... Which was in Germany. And back to Wales. Which is next to England. Although we hadn't found Hillary, we'd learned that there are three types of cop. Good cop, bad cop and Welsh cop. If you were on fire, I'd grab a stick and a bag of marshmallows. We'd learned not to trust a Shanghai toilet paper salesman. He is Hillary. You is Hillary. We all Hillary. <laughs> and a surprising amount about the adult entertainment industry. Uh, you ever need anything? Candles, music, or you want to try your hand into porn? I think you could both be pretty good. You and uh, you particularly. That's when Hal got a call from the US of A. A mysterious Mary Brady claimed she had fresh information about Hillary. But who was this mysterious Mary Brady? I'm Hillary Brady's daughter. Another case solved. I found your number on Hillary's laptop. There's something you need to know. I, I'm going to stop you there. Do you know where Hillary is? Of course. She's at the Holy Cross funeral home. I'm sorry to have to tell you... Hillary passed away a few days ago. Cardiac arrest. She died of a broken heart. Excuse me? Carry on. The funeral's in a couple of days. I'll text you the details. God bless you, Hal. Goodbye. This must have been horribly upsetting. I don't think I can put my feelings for Hillary into words. OK, then. So I've prepared a short reading. I think W.H. Auden said it best. He was my north... She. She was my north, my south, my east and west, my working week and my Sunday rest, my noon, my midnight, my talk, my song. I thought that love would last forever. I was wrong. But you never actually met her, Hal. The last piece of the jigsaw lay 4,000 miles away in the land of the free. I'd never get closure on this case, sitting still. I had to go to Hillary's funeral to unravel the mystery of where she'd been until her tragic death. This couldn't be the end. Perhaps it was the beginning. It wasn't. But there was no way I could afford the trip. Having spent all our money on judicial fines, global flights... And fish. But with our wives no longer taking our calls, there was no hope of any money from them. So it was time for drastic measures. 
I'd have to sell an organ. Not your granddad's wurlit, sir. The very same. Welcome, brethren, to the Saviour's Church of the Holy Sepulchre Cross on the hill of our Lord and Holy Mother Mary, Sandy Springs, Wisconsin. That's Father Time, the priest at Hillary's local church. Inside, I was met by the suspicious gaze of many of the shifty-eyed locals I'd previously interviewed. They clearly thought, with Hillary dead, they were in the clear. Low-life scum. There's that lovely British man. Come sit with us, sir. We saved you a spot. You could taste the conceit in the air. The first hard fact that led me to solving this case came as a complete surprise. The coffin was open. I thought you'd sold that organ. It was on eBay, collection only. He's picking it up tomorrow. An open coffin? That is a surprise. I don't like that tradition. It's very upsetting for the children. I'm not even sure it's hygienic. The surprise, Sim, was not that the coffin was open, but that it contained the withered remains of a geriatric old man. Right, that's it. I'm unplugging it. This is when my fully sharpened investigative skills first deduced that Hillary may not be the woman she said she was. Did she ever say she was a woman? Come to think of it, that profile picture I printed might not have belonged to Hillary. It could have been Chantel's or Destiny's or Laquanda. You printed the wrong image? And based on that, we went to Shanghai and Germany. How many women are you speaking to online? I've been lonely for a while. My wife's always away playing tennis with your wife. She doesn't even have a racket. Thank you all for coming. Here's what I recorded from the eulogy. Hillary would have loved to see so many of you here, having loved the community. And I know how much Hillary meant to you all. My confusion as to why there was an old man in Hillary's coffin was about to be resolved. Hillary was a great dad. Another case solved. My father found great happiness at the end of his days talking to friends online. There was, of course, the unfortunate break-in whilst dad was down in his basement office. And you all know how much that shook him. Did the stress of that cause his death? We'll never know. Just like we'll never know who broke in. <coughs> After the service, we'd love you to join us in remembrance of Dad's favourite childhood holiday for a Chinese buffet. Thank you. That's beautiful. And of course, while you were at Hillary's funeral, Hal, I was at a wedding. <laughs> who saw this coming? We are gathered here today to celebrate the holy wedded union of Maria and Gillian. It was a lovely do. They had fish. A lot of fish. I was terribly ill. And just months after the mystery began, we had solved it. Hillary had invited me round because men can do that. It's allowed. He had disappeared into his own basement. Oh, that explains the email he sent about the basement. So simple. The neighbours I interviewed were being obstructive. They seemed really nice to you at the funeral. Oldest trick in the book, Sim. They could have informed me that Hillary could not hear his doorbell from the basement. They could have told you Hillary was an old man. Textbook obstruction. And the dead crow? Is that a corpse? A sinister calling card from an underworld shadow unwilling to see me find Hillary. Or it could have just hit a window? In every investigation, Sim, some mysteries must remain. And what about the missed court appearance? At the funeral, Hillary's daughter, the mysterious Mary Brady, gave up one vital missing piece of the jigsaw. Hillary worked at the courthouse as a janitor. What about the trip to Wales and Shanghai and Germany? A rigorous pursuit of justice, following a solid set of clues, eliminating the rogue elements of a mysterious pen pal. The vanilla slice. Would you like one? An international pop star. I will like to do bad things to Gigi. And a slightly dubious Dutch record producer who happened to represent Gigi Spank. Whose picture you'd mistakenly printed off the internet. Whose picture had been flagrantly available to all and sundry to print at their leisure. So, that's it. Case closed. What have we learned? 
that if Hilary Brady had fitted a doorbell he could hear in his basement, he might still be alive. And I've got to stop eating fish. This entire investigation has enriched all of our lives. And what's it cost us? Our wives. Your grandfather's organ. £123,000. I've lost my house. And I've got two court appearances pending. I'm banned from entering Southeast Asia. You've been listening to Serial Box. Serial Box is produced by Simeon Corti and Hal Stewart. Jeff Breath is our production manager. Russell Magpie, our editorial advisor. Editing assistance from Richard. Fact checking by Brazen Hussey. Special thanks to Henry Veruca, Mandy Xylophone, and Jason Fad. Serial Box is a production for This British Life and WD40 Luton. Whenever I need a laugh, I go to Simon Howell's SoundCloud page. I've never been to a SoundCloud page. Just read the words. What's a SoundCloud? It's a cloud of sound. And what's a howl? We're really not sure. Look, can you just read the words? (laughs) Find more award-winning comedy at soundcloud.com slash cereal box. That's S-E-R-I-A-L. Do you want me to spell box? No, I think it's fine. B-O-X. All right, then soundcloud.com slash cereal box